take one from Bruno. I mean, it's here. not that I need to answer it, but. Ryan, uh, you, you seem to be getting stronger as the season goes along. I mean, have you found something that, uh, if you make the chase, can uh, get get you a championship this year? Um, you know, with the with the level of competition the way it is, uh, and we've seen it get more um, competitive as, as each year, the last three years especially. Um, you know, I, all it takes is one bad race for in, for the best guy to. Uh, to you knock them out of contention, and um, you know if we can just keep keep what we have going, um, you know we'll be in the chase, and and we'll be a competitor and and a you know championship contender. I don't know if that'll put us a a top three contender, uh, you know five races in, or a, or a top two contender, you know with one race to go. But I, I feel like we have the resources and we have the people, uh, and I've said that from the very beginning at Stuart Haas that we can we can make a run for it. But it's um you know it's um. We, we we keep the ball in our court. We you know we we are in possession, so it's a matter of us making it happen. Okay, we'll take one from Kenny Bruce and go over to Mike. Um, there you go. It's on now. Have you been asked about? So your mind yet? was so delayed. Your lips were so much farther ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been asked about Danica yet? I just want to get that out of the way. Who? Danica Patrick. Oh, this female. She runs yeah, IndyCar. I've heard about her. Have you? Yeah. Do you guys have you already started looking at fuel mileage today, or is that something you guys will look at tomorrow during that long practice session? You know, the guys the guys think about it way more than the drivers do. Uh, when I say the guys, I mean the team guys, the race engineers. But uh, you know, in in general, um, it's something we keep track of, but it's not something that we necessarily work on. The car balance is more important. You know, the the comfortability of of the race car is much more important than figuring out if you're a couple tens off on fuel mileage so or a couple hundreds off I should say on fuel mileage um in saying that there are things that I can do to help out um that's one part of it the other part of it is is you never know how the cautions are going to fly or um you know you can have the you can have the best fuel mileage in the world if your capacity is down then then uh you know your fuel mileage isn't necessarily that great so there's a lot of things to work on um and that's something that because of the size of the racetrack is always in the back of our minds but um you know it's and I'd say for sure because of um, the work, and I know Brad talked about it a little bit in here, the work Goodyear's done on the tires and the you know the 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 quality of tire they're bringing to the racetrack, fuel has become much more of an important issue than it had been. Next question we'll take from Mike. Right behind you. Oh, Mike Muller and that, yeah. yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask a question. I'll, I'll bite because I'm sure Greg's going to be asked it too. When you race against Boris, said is he like? really a wild guy out there or does he like take more than he should or is it just he shows up every now and then and nobody really knows what to expect i mean he obviously got into something last week and how, how do you race him or what does he do out there you know i've it's it's like anybody else I've, I've never had an issue with boris i see that he races hard i know that he races hard and he races competitive i read some of the things that he said um you know i don't think he's out of line in the things that he said and, and i and i agree with some of the things biffle said as well but um it's it's a competition out there and it and it becomes a more sensitive issue when you have somebody that isn't full time in in this series um even though he wants to be or would want to be i don't know that um but in the end um you know it's i i think because of the the situation um and i think it i think really it all stems back to them not airing out their differences last year after they had the situation from what i read if they would have got past that then you know the issue wouldn't have happened after the race this year whether no matter what stem the or you know fueled the fire for the uh, the argument or or you know in respect of the six car and all the things that happened there between Roush teammates or not. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, and that's that's why I said if they would have if they would have aired that out, whether it was that I don't know if that was this race or that was last year's race. Because I was I, well, the, way I, the way I read his comments is it was last year's race, right? And and you know us drivers, we're not really good when it comes to memory. Um, walls and things like that come up and <laughs> delete some of our memory, <laughs> but <laughs> but um, you know it's it, it, it it's no it's no different than than anybody else at any other time. It just so happens to be Boris and Biffle right now. Okay, next question from Nate. Uh, Nate Ryan, USA Day. Two guys above 190 miles an hour. Uh, it's the first time I think in six years that a pole speed has topped 190 here. Uh, any reason why it's 
jump so much this year and, and how much faster will it be next year, you think, when, after they repave it? Um, you know, I, th- I think if you look back at the history of our sport, the biggest, the I should say it this way, the last 10 years of our sport, the biggest improvement for speed has been horsepower, and the guys m- make an amazing amount of horsepower out of these engines. And I know that there's certain things like track conditions and Goodyear tires and things like that that all contribute, but, uh, um, you know, that that's amazing the horsepower that they're getting out of, out of 355 cubic inches. And, um, um yeah, this is big. It's fast uh, in reference to the straightaways and carrying. If you got a, a decent race car, you can you can get through the corners and just multiply that straightaway speed. I don't. I mean, if it all depends, it's it's repaving. It's only a percentage of it. The only you know, the only part of the race car touching the ground is the tire. And um, you know, if they bring a tire here that has to match that asphalt, then we might be slower. We might be faster. It all de- it all depends on the technology of the tire at the time. Okay. Question from Wolfgang. Uh, Wolfgang Monza from Germany, Ranchburg Press Engine. Ryan, how identical is the setup to Tony's car, or is it totally different? I, honestly, today I have no idea where his car is at compared to mine. He spent 90% of race pra- or qualifying practice in race trim. I think he did one, maybe two runs in qualifying trim, and um, you know, we'll sit down tonight and look through those things from our end and, as well as his end to, uh, to make sure that we're both putting the ideal package under each driver. Any other questions for Ryan so we can let him go? Okay, Ron, congratulations. Good luck on Sunday. Thank you.